Okay, so in this video we're looking at bracing. Now bracing is all about building walls uh, or building some other structure that needs to stand up um, and creating a diagonal, putting a diagonal here uh, to give it some strength. Uh, if you imagine nailing four pieces of wood together in a square, it's going to be incredibly uh, unstable. It's probably going to fall apart fairly quickly. But then if you take one more piece of wood and nail it diagonally across the shape, uh, that's going to give it some strength. Basically, triangles equal strength when it comes to engineering or building. Uh, and you can see a bunch of examples here, 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 and here, where diagonals are used to add strength to something. Now, this gets used a lot, particularly in wall frames, and we'll look at it a lot in wall frames like this. You can see this wall frame here uh, with our studs going downwards and our window frame here and our brace down there. Now, important to note, and this complicates the math that we have to do, building standards prescribe that the angle which the brace makes with the bottom of the frame must lie within the range 37 degrees to 53 degrees. Okay, this is an important, these are important numbers. What this means is that if you imagine a house like with a wall that looked like this, if you wanted to build a brace like this, you could not. The angle's too small. It's going to be useless. You may as well not put a brace there at all. Similarly, if you had a big tall wall like this for some reason, and you put a brace like this, it's going to be useless. The angle's too steep. So angles only work when the angle from there to there is somewhere between 37 degrees to 53 degrees in the angle between there and there is somewhere between 37 degrees and 53 degrees uh, if it's not those you need to change your brace somehow um, also most houses have a ceiling height of 2400 millimeters that's 2.4 meters uh, so most of our examples will have a ceiling that high uh, let's take a look. Here's a basic wall. It's 3,600 um, millimetres wide and 2,400 millimetres tall. We want to find the length of the longest brace that can be used. Now, the length of the longest diagonal in this rectangle would be from here to here. Uh, so our first step here is to find out how uh, what that angle would be. If that angle is between 37 and 53 degrees, then we're just fine. If that angle isn't between 37 degrees and 53 degrees, then we're going to have to change our measurement somehow. Okay, let's test that out. Now, this is going to be a t trigonometry question. Uh, and you'll remember Sokatoa. Now, in most of these, it'll be a tan ratio because we've got an opposite and an adjacent angle. So tan theta equals opposite over adjacent, which means that tan theta equals 2400 divided by 3600. Um, to see what that is. Okay, so that's 0 0.67. Now, after that um, 0 0.67, so we know tan theta equals 0 0.67. You're going to have to use shift tan to figure out what theta is. You remember, shift tan moves over to the other side, 0.67. Okay, type that into your calculator. Now, when you type that into your calculator, you get an angle of 33.7 degrees. So that means that this angle here is 33.7 degrees. Now, unfortunately, that's outside of building regulations. You can see our angle needs to be between 37 and 53. This angle is 33.7. So the only thing that we can do, I'll use a different color for this. The only thing that we can do is bring our brace in a little bit. That'll make the angle slightly larger. Now we're gonna use, we're, we're gonna bring it in as little as possible, uh, which means that we're gonna bring it into the minimum range. We're going to bring it in to 37 degrees. Okay, so I'm just going to draw that triangle over here. We know that we're still going to have a height of 2400. We know that the angle 
between there and there is going to be 37 degrees. But we don't know this length. It was 3600 wide across here to here. But we need to know the length from here to here. Okay, so you can see that it's another trig question. It's also another tan ratio. So we know that tan theta equals opposite over adjacent. We know now that the angle we want is 37 degrees. We know the opposite is 2400 and the adjacent is x. Now, you should remember from last term that if we want to figure this out, we're going to have to use a different color again. We're going to have to swap tan 37 and x. So x is going to move up to the top on this side and tan 37 is going to move down to the bottom on this side. Okay, let's type that into our calculator. Okay, so we can see that the angle is 33.7 degrees here. And that's a problem because it's outside of our building regulations. Our building regulations say we have to be between 37 and 53. This is 33.7. Now, we want to use the longest brace possible. So we'll have to bring this brace. It's still, it'll still go to the corner here but we'll bring it in a little bit, which will make the angle, we'll make it as small as possible. So it's gonna be 37 degrees. So I'll just redraw that triangle now. Okay, that's that blue triangle here. It's still got a height of 2400, that won't change. It's got an angle here of 37 degrees. And remember what we're trying to find out. We're trying to find out the longest brace. So we want to know this length here. Now this is a trig uh, problem again. This time it's a sine problem. Sine theta is equal to opposite over hypotenuse. Now the opposite is 2400. The hypotenuse is x. And our angle sine 37. Now, just using a different color pen here, you should remember that to figure out what x is here, we swap over the x and the sine 37. We'll end up with x equals 2400 divided by sine 37. Now, you just need to type that into your calculator and you'll get an answer of 3,988 millimeters. Okay, quite a uh, complicated question here. Uh, unfortunately, that's not the end of bracing. There's something that gets even more complicated again. So give a try to a couple of these questions and then we'll try the next video.